Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn today, and we're taking a look, trying to figure out what we're going to do with this map. Last time we did get one explosives factory in, but I was thinking about it, and I think we're definitely going to need a second one today, because there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be exploding. We will probably put these two on pause, or at least one of them, because I won't need quite so many of these metal blocks after we get, uh, or in, at least until we get the explosives in. Let me go ahead and put a road there before I forget. There we go. And with the extra explosives, we're definitely going to need a second paper mill because it won't be able to keep up. So let's see if we can do a paper mill. Where can we do a paper mill? How about right there for now? Again, maybe temporary, maybe not. We will see. There's that. I'm going to get those in so we can get going on, on some more stuff here. Last time I was left wondering where I would put in the aquatic farms for this map, but I think about the best place is going to be right here. It's got a refill and it should have plenty of space for us. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll remove this with some dynamite and we will put potatoes here, and then I want to change this out for wheat. So what I'm going to say is, don't replant this, and we'll replant it with wheat. We'll take a road right across here. In fact, let's see if we can grab, I think that's a five, so we're going to need a two. Oh, I don't have the science for it yet because I have no spare beavers. So we'll come back to that when we can get there. I'm going to want to remove all these trees up here. So let's go ahead and get in one more of those. And that should let those be cut. Are those already marked to cut? Yep, they sure are. Eventually, we're going to get rid of these little hills in here. That'll give us a little more area. And we'll cut this metal out of there, too. As we get more beavers, we're definitely going to need a couple more pumps. I'm going to go ahead and put another one down here because it should always be within reach of water one way or another unless we run out up here. But uh, hopefully we'll clear a lot of this out and make some extra room for water. And then we can figure out where we need to go from there. We're down quite a bit of beavers again. We do have a bunch of kits and enough beds to eventually fill that up, so we should get enough, but I think I would like just one more level of safety, so to say. So we should have some extra beavers here. I'm going to put in those here, and we'll toss some more houses right on top here. There we go. And that might be the only houses we get for a bit, or it might... Uh, be just the start, but we'll find out as we go along on this map. I'm realizing we forgot to put in some storage for dynamite. So let's go ahead, get that in there. And then do we have storage for paper? Yeah, we must have storage for paper. So for the moment, we're just going to use the dynamite. And then I don't know... If we'll get any stored up right away, but you never know. Maybe we'll uh, find a way to get some out there. All of our scrap metal has been moved, so we're going to change that over to this. Uh, we're not going to have any treated planks for a bit, but we should be able to use that whenever they finally get here. With the first couple of dynamite, I think we're going to work on our reservoir here. The more water we can get, the more beavers we can hold at the end of the day. So we're just going to put those in there and let them start blowing stuff up. I don't have the science yet to get the bridge that I'm going to need across here, but we are going to start with something like this. I'm going to take that out of here, and we're going to put in an extra farmhouse, because I don't think one farmhouse will be able to handle all of that. We're going to put you back there, and the bridge will come in right in between there. However, in the meantime, we are just going to plant some wheat here, just to get a little bit ahead of whenever we do 
get our wheat processing facilities in. Our beaver injuries are starting to really stack up, so we're just going to spam in a couple of medical bays. I think over here should be fine for now. They won't mind that they're by the noisy industry that's over here, will they? It'll help recovery. It'll make them want to get out of bed earlier, maybe, or later. I'm not sure. We'll find out. We were able to get some of the beavers in the science huts, so we can go ahead and... Grab our bridge. There we go. We'll put one on each side. We'll put one in the middle here. That'll give us a chance to put this down here. We can run a path all the way over here because I would like to have our beavers blow all that up there. And we're also going to get... Let's see. Where is... There's our aquatic farmhouse. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. And we will tell them plant everything this way. And maybe even a little this way. Oh, and those two probably. And then everything this way will be the cattails. We might have to adjust that, but we'll figure that out as we go. Our first level went down pretty easily, so we're going to go ahead and plan for another one here. We're just going to try and say, let's take out all of this, all of this, and hopefully our, uh, our factories here keep up. It looks like they're doing okay. They could be doing better, of course, but they're not doing terrible either. I'm going to just use a little dynamite around here and add a little farm field availability for a couple more potatoes. I think they'll come in handy. I just don't want to run out of them if possible. Let's, uh, let's get this one out of here too. There we go. And then we'll put potatoes in there whenever they get done. Since I'm still going to be growing population at least a little bit, I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase our large tank and toss it in right about there. That will give us hopefully enough storage for most of the beavers I'm going to need. I don't know if we'll put in any more at some point, but definitely for the moment that should be enough to at least keep us going here. Well, as always, we're still a little bit short on beavers, so we're going to build one more structure here. Do something like this. We're going to go up one more level. And then here, I believe we'll need a two. There we go. And we'll do three more houses here. Let's do the lodge. We'll do the mirrored for now. There we go toss our stairs in there and get a path around and that should give us about nine more at the moment and probably the ability to keep on going up if we should need to or want to now that we're pulling in some more crops specifically our aquatic crops and actually our wheat as well we're going to need some more storage for them as well I don't believe i have any wheat storage nope i sure don't so Let's go ahead, toss in a bunch of warehouses here. That can be for the wheat. That'll be for the wheat flour eventually. Then we're going to do spatter dock, and we're going to need, let's say, grilled spatter dock. And that'll be for the crackers that we'll eventually get. Then we also need some for the, uh, what is it, the churned wheat and then for the bread and we will eventually need one for maple pastries and that should be it let's see i'm gonna need a couple more of those and a lot more of those there we go then they should be able to get to everything they need here let's just go around come around this way and we'll set those as they start to get built. We're getting closer and closer to getting our reservoir cleaned out. 
So then we won't need to worry too much about it. I have things that I want to put over the reservoir, but it's still going to take a little bit to get those done. And we definitely have to clean out the reservoir first, because I'd like to be able to save that much water in here. In fact, let's just go ahead, toss in one there. We'll toss in some here. Yep, there. There we go. That can go. Uh, I don't know if we can get to any of these, but we're going to go ahead and plan for that. Uh, let's see here. We can toss some in. We're going to get rid of all of that. Uh, eventually, we will do all of this as well. And we will say, cut you out of here because we do not need you or any of you or any of you. And we will say those are actually high priority to do. There we go. Whenever that can come through. And let's see. We will put one on here. I'm not 100% sure how we'll get to a lot of those. But we'll figure it all out as we go. I think it's time we come back over here and take a look. And see if we can get some maybe uh, power storage taken care of. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is just remove all this road right here because that was there just to remind me not to place anything else there. Nothing too big. For power, though, I would like to... We'll grab this, and can we put these here? Yep. I'm going to do something like this. And that should connect them in. We'll probably put another one right there. But we are going to get rid of this whole area as well. Which, again, is just going to be a whole lot of dynamite. So that'll take a little while. And all of this should come first so that we always have water. That way we can raise our population even higher if we need to. While this should connect in over here, I might just pause these for a second. And we will go ahead and connect in this battery. It definitely won't give us much storage. It gives us 2,000. It's not a huge amount, and across four of them, they'll only be, what, 8,000? So, not a huge amount, but at least they will be hooked up, and we won't have to worry so much about it. There we go. So, yep, they're getting all those in. I can go ahead and restart those. That is down, probably. Yep, that's already done for, so... They will put these dynamite in eventually, and these power batteries will grow quite, quite a bit. It's about time we got some more beavers again. We're only, what, five kits in one bed, and we're already down ten spots. So we're going to toss a whole row on top of here, and hopefully that solves a little of that problem. I'm going to take that out. We're going to go... Let's see... I'm going to put a two, and then we'll do threes, and we'll just make the spiral staircase. There we go. Oops, not that one, though. That one. There we go. That looks good. We'll put another row up here. We'll toss in our stairs. Very important there. And then we'll get our lodges in. We want the houses or doors on this side so it matches. There we go. And then, of course, the path to go around. Once those get in, we should have enough to cover most of the stuff that we've got open. Our last gravity battery is in, and I'm thinking I really should have started with this area because now the explosives factories work pretty much the entire day, whereas before it was up to the wind whether they worked or not. Oh well, lesson learned. I should have probably known better, but hey, nothing's ever perfect. You can always do better on your next run. Our nice reservoir over here is getting emptied out and once it's all emptied out we've got plenty of stuff to do here next time i think we're going to come down here and work more on our specialty type of foods and see what we can get in there but i think that's going to do it for me today so i just want to say thank you very much for stopping by don't forget to like comment and subscribe that always helps me out we've had uh 
quite a few new subscribers lately, so hello to all my new and old subscribers. But uh, just want to say thank you very much for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.